The sun has been a critical solid area for us, particularly of late, and it will undergo an essential and fascinating change. The reversal of its magnetic field. This phenomenon occurs generally at regular intervals, marking the midpoint of the solar cycle, has wide repercussions for us here on Earth. In fact, the sun could potentially pose a serious risk, capable of causing widespread disruption and disaster for everyone on the planet. The sun's magnetic field is generated by the movement of electrically charged gases within its interior, a process known as the solar dynamo. Over time, this magnetic field becomes increasingly tangled and reshaped due to the sun's rotation and convective changes. Eventually, this process leads to a complete reversal of the magnetic poles, with the north magnetic pole becoming the south magnetic pole, and vice versa. To understand this process, let's examine the sun more closely. The sun is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium in the form of plasma, a state of matter where electrons are not bound to atoms, resulting in a mixture of free electrons and ions. Its interior is divided into several layers, with the core at the center, surrounded by the radiative zone and the convective zone. The core is the sun's most significant region, where nuclear fusion occurs, converting hydrogen into helium and releasing immense amounts of energy. Surrounding the core lies the radiative zone, where energy is transferred outward through radiation. In this region, energy moves slowly outward as photons are absorbed and re-emitted by the solar plasma. The outermost layer of the sun's interior is the convective zone, where energy is transported by convection. Hot plasma rises toward the surface, cools and sinks again, creating convection currents. The solar dynamo process primarily occurs in the convective zone and the tachycline, a thin layer between the radiative zone and the convective zone. The tachycline is crucial because it is where the sun's differential rotation and shear flows play a key role in generating the magnetic field. Here's something intriguing. The sun doesn't rotate as a solid body. Different parts of the sun rotate at different rates, with the equator rotating faster than the poles, a phenomenon known as differential rotation. This differential rotation stretches and twists the magnetic field lines, amplifying the magnetic field. The solar cycle lasts approximately 11 years, during which the sun's magnetic field undergoes a series of changes, culminating in the reversal of its poles. This cycle is driven by the solar dynamo and involves several stages. At the beginning of the solar cycle, the sun is in a state known as solar minimum, characterized by a low number of sunspots and minimal solar activity. The magnetic field is generally simple and bipolar, with a clear north and south magnetic pole. As the cycle progresses, the number of sunspots increases. Sunspots are regions of intense magnetic activity and are associated with the emergence of magnetic fields from the sun's interior. These sunspots appear in pairs with opposite magnetic polarities and migrate toward the equator over time. Around the midpoint of the solar cycle, the sun reaches solar maximum, a period of peak activity with the largest number of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, CMEs. During this phase, the magnetic field becomes increasingly complex and tangled due to continuous twisting and shearing from differential rotation and convection. As the solar maximum fades, the magnetic field begins to reorganize itself. The tangled magnetic field lines reconnect, and the global magnetic field gradually reverses its polarity. The north magnetic pole becomes the south magnetic pole, and vice versa. This reversal process is facilitated by the movement and reconfiguration of solar plasma. After the pole reversal, the sun enters a period of declining activity, returning to solar minimum. Eventually, the magnetic field reorganizes again, and the cycle begins anew. Currently, we are in the solar maximum phase, and the sun's magnetic field is about to flip. During this stage, we can expect to see significant activity from the sun that could be both dangerous and captivating. However, the sun's magnetic field reversal is not an abrupt flip, but rather a gradual process as the solar cycle progresses. Scientists monitor the sun's magnetic activity using various instruments and techniques. Observatories equipped with powerful telescopes, both on Earth and in space, provide detailed images of the sun's surface and its sunspots. Instruments like the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, 
and the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, measure the sun's magnetic field and its changes over time. One critical indicator of an impending magnetic reversal is the behavior of sunspots. During solar maximum, sunspots appear more frequently and move closer to the sun's equator, indicating that the magnetic field is becoming more unstable and preparing to flip. Sunspots, fascinating solar features, are regions where the sun's magnetic field lines become twisted and tangled due to differential rotation. These regions suppress the convective movement of hot plasma, resulting in cooler, darker patches visible on the sun's surface. Sunspots can sometimes produce powerful solar flares and CMEs, which release enormous amounts of energy and charged particles into space. When directed toward Earth, these events can disrupt satellite communications, affect power grids, and pose risks to astronauts. While solar flares and CMEs are related, they are distinct phenomena. Solar flares are sudden, intense bursts of radiation caused by the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots. They emit vast amounts of energy and light, often in the form of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. On the other hand, CMEs are massive expulsions of solar wind and magnetic fields from the sun's corona, ejecting billions of tons of solar particles into space at high speeds. Both phenomena can have significant impacts on Earth, with solar flares affecting radio communications and navigation systems, while CMEs can trigger geomagnetic storms that disrupt technology and enhance auroras. The sun's dynamic behavior, especially during periods of heightened solar activity, profoundly affects Earth and the surrounding space environment. Here's a concise overview of the key impacts and considerations. 1. Geomagnetic storms and technology disruptions. Coronal mass ejections. CMEs, large releases of solar plasma and magnetic fields can interact with Earth's magnetosphere, causing geomagnetic storms. Infrastructure at risk. Power grids. Ground currents can overload transformers and disrupt electricity supply. Satellites. Solar particles can damage sensitive electronics, alter satellite orbits, and interfere with communication signals. Navigation systems. GPS and other navigation technologies may experience outages or reduced accuracy. Historical example. The Carrington event, 1859, caused telegraph systems to malfunction dramatically, with some even catching fire. Today, such an event could have catastrophic consequences for modern infrastructure. 2. Impact on space exploration. Astronauts. Increased solar radiation poses health risks during spacewalks or deep space missions. Spacecraft. Elevated solar activity can degrade spacecraft components and disrupt operations. 3. Auroras. A stunning phenomenon. Northern and Southern Lights. CMEs enhance auroras, making them visible at lower latitudes and offering spectacular displays of light. While visually mesmerizing, these events signify increased solar activity that might bring risks. 4. Solar Cycle and Magnetic Field Reversal 11-Year Solar Cycle The Sun undergoes periodic changes in activity, transitioning between solar minimum and maximum. Magnetic Reversals Occurring roughly every 11 years, these events are associated with intensified solar activity, sunspots, flares, and CMEs. 5. Climate and atmospheric effects. Solar influence on climate. While the sun's magnetic field reversal has limited direct effects, variations in solar radiation can slightly alter Earth's atmospheric conditions, potentially contributing to broader climate phenomena. 6. Preparedness and research. Monitoring solar activity. Ground-based observatories and satellites track sunspots, solar flares, and CMEs to predict potential impacts. Developing resilience. Protecting power grids, enhancing satellite shielding, and building early warning systems are essential to mitigate risks. The sun's complex behavior influences life on Earth in multifaceted ways, from the beauty of auroras to the hazards of geomagnetic storms. By advancing our understanding and monitoring capabilities, we can better safeguard our technology and infrastructure while continuing to explore the mysteries of our solar system.